now I've just formed the branch. Like many in the science field, Vic Spitzer spends a lot of time on a computer. On this morning, we found him cataloging parts of a human body. What we're really doing is identifying the arteries that are permeating the entire lungs. Spitzer, a professor at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, helped pioneer the Visible Human Project, an effort to create detailed three-dimensional views of the human body by slicing a dead body and photographing it after each slice is removed. This woman, Susan Potter, well aware of Spitzer's work, first contacted him back in 2000. She rolled her wheelchair into my fifth floor office uh, with a newspaper in her hand and said, I want to do this. Potter, who'd had 26 surgeries and suffered from multiple diseases, wasn't the ideal candidate, still. I said, I will agree to section and image you so that we can show your anatomy to the world if you'll let us record your life. Potter, Spitzer says, was driven by a desire to instill compassion in health care providers and made her wishes clear to all. That was my last will and testament, to leave something behind that would have an impact on the whole human race. Spitzer thinks digital cadavers viewed online can help advance medical training and research particularly in places where cadavers for study are hard to find. Faster learning, it'll be more ubiquitous. People will be able to study anatomy, internal anatomy, um, that don't have good cadaver access today. Potter died in 2015 at age 87. Two years later, the work of turning her into a virtual human began. Her frozen remains were cut into 27,000 hair-thin slices. As a sharp blade removed each layer, a picture was taken. Spitzer's construction of Potter's body map has already been revealing. After looking at the inside of her body, I see pain. I'm doing something she wanted, and I'm doing something I wanted, so I was okay emotionally with it. She wanted to die. She was in the position that she could be dying. Everything made logical sense. Besides the U.S., only South Korea and China have undertaken similar projects. Spitzer, who believes a library of virtual humans is the future, hopes Potter will be completely labeled and ready for study within three years. I think she would be happy that everyone in the world is looking at this. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.